There are so many good players in all of Fortnite, it's almost impossible to give a list and narrow it down to only 10. Of course, this is a very opinionated topic and you probably won't agree with me at all. But unlike a lot of other top 10 Fortnite players videos, I'm going to be giving in-depth information as to why I believe these players deserve the rank I put them at. Before we jump into the actual list, let me go ahead and break down my criteria and what I look at most and value. One thing I will be doing throughout the video for every single player is going over their average play in major Fortnite events. This basically means any major event with a $100,000 plus prize pool. To me, what really makes a great player is somebody who can go out there almost every single event and get top 5, top 10, always placing in the money. The second thing in my criteria is the wow factor. Does that player have the wow? When you watch him, does he blow your mind away with making incredible plays? And then the third big thing in my criteria is how do they handle the pressure? Are they clutch? Do they show up in the biggest moments possible? And of course, there are a whole bunch of other things that I do value which we will be going over throughout the video. Now lastly, before we jump into the actual list, do me a quick favor. If you do enjoy my content, please do slap a like on this video. Every like really helps support my channel and it allows me to make these videos every single day. And if you enjoy watching them every day, then there's no reason not to go hit that like button guys. Thank you so much and now without further ado, let's jump into number 10. I introduce you guys to Vivid from Team Liquid. Vivid is an incredible player and he is earned a total of $277,000. He has competed in 14 major events and has an average placement of 6.8, which is actually really high compared to some other people on this list. Vivid would be higher on this list, but one reason I didn't put him above some of the other Team Liquid players and just other people in general is because recently he hasn't been performing as good as he used to. During like the summer skirmishes, Vivid went on an absolute tear, winning back-to-back -back skirmishes as well as other ones in the summer. This proved he was one of the best best, if not the best player at that current time, but as the months and almost a year has passed, Vivid's performances have gone down just a little bit, which is a main factor in why I did put him at rank number 10. Let's move on now to number 9, and we have Mongrel from Team Secret, who is a very young player, but very promising. He has earned a total of $6,196 and has zero major event experience. And I know you guys are going to say, wait man, you said at the beginning of the video, big factor is going to be your criteria. And well, Mongrel doesn't have any experience. He's never shown that he's clutch. But what he does have is that wow factor, and it's absolutely incredible. Mongrel has shown that he can make absolutely insane plays left and right, one after another. And because he is so young and promising, I do feel like the potential here is enough to put him on the top 10 list right now based off the incredible plays that he makes on his stream every single day. This one may be controversial, but I will stand behind it. I believe Mongrel is going to be one of the best players of all time. Moving on to number eight, we have the second Team Liquid player on this list. It's going to be Poach. Now, Poach has overall earned more money than Vivid, sitting at 324000 with 12 major tournaments played at an average placement of 8.75. Poach is an extremely well-rounded player. He has the game sense, he has the aim, and he has the mechanics when it comes to building. One thing I will say, though, is his performances are a little more sporadic than someone like Vivid, who is a bit more consistent. But overall, I feel like Poach has the higher skill ceiling and when he is playing at his best, he is slightly better than Vivid. But at the end of the day, we all have to remember when comparing players, it's so close. Poach and Vivid are both incredible. And it's honestly impossible to tell who's better. It really just comes down to your personal opinion and what you think. And at the end of the day, I believe Poach is ranked number 8 overall. Let's move on now to number 7, and we have our first ghost gaming player on this list, Saf. Saf has earned a total of $180,000 with 11 major tournaments played at an average placement of 8.1. I'm sure I could have put a lot of other players on this list over Saf, but the main reason I put him up here and at number 7 is because of his recent performance at the Secret Skirmish, really proving that right now at this moment, he is definitely one of the best. He got first place in the duos event by showing up extremely clutch in the last game, as well as second place in the solos tournament the next day. I'm really excited to see Saf move Moving forward, I feel like he's going to be a key player to watch in the World Cup. Moving on now to number 6, we have one of my personal favorite players from Team Liquid, 72 hours, which is the third player on the top 10 list from Team Liquid. They have the most players on my list from an organization, so congratulations to Team Liquid. They have some incredible players. 72 hours is sitting at a total of $312,000 earned while playing 14 tournaments with an average placement of 8.5. As I said earlier, it's so hard to choose between these Team Liquid players every single one of them is so good and their statistics are extremely close and at the end of the day it comes down to what I 
see. And when I watch 72 hours play, I do feel like he is one of the best players in the game. And similar to Poach, I feel like he is extremely well-rounded and he has the game sense, he has the aim and the mechanics to build, but overall, I feel like he just has a better wow factor than Vivid or Poach, which is why we have him at number six. Let's go ahead and move on now to number five. We have Cloaksy from FaZe Clan with a total of $418,000 won and 11 tournaments played with an average placement of 7.6. Statistically so far, he is one of the best players we've gone over. And one of the main reasons I have him at number five is because of his incredible clutch performance at TwitchCon. I made a video not too long ago about how Cloaksy is better than Tifu. The main reason I made that video was to spread awareness on how good Cloaksy actually is and how incredible his performance was at the TwitchCon finals. Simply put, if it wasn't for Cloaksy, Tifu would have never gotten first place in that event and won over $250,000, which by the way makes up over 50% of the total money earned in all the Fortnite from Tifu. Cloaksy could have been higher on this list, but due to underperforming majorly in the secret skirmish, we put him at number five. Moving on now to number four, we have Mr. Savage M, who has a total of $11,000 earned, but Mr. Savage M has never competed in a major event. Now, I know some of you guys might be thinking this is a little high for a guy with no experience, but I honestly do believe Mr. Savage M is going to be the best player of all time. Okay, maybe that's going a little bit overboard, but one of the best. He is so skilled at such a young age, every single time I tune into his stream, he is making new, innovative, incredible plays that I have never seen. And that's what's so great about him. He's so young, but is still pioneering incredible strats we have never seen. I am beyond ecstatic that he is going to be able to compete in the World Cup, and that will prove whether or not he does deserve to be number four on my list. But for now, the wow factor is up there, and I have to put him this high. I'm sure some of you guys will agree and some of you will disagree. Be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know if you agree on my list so far. If not, it's fine. Just leave your comment, share your opinion, and let's keep it fun and PG down there. Moving on now, we have number three and it's Mitro from Team Atlantis. Mitro is one of the most consistent performers on this entire list. He has earned a total of $260,000 while playing in 13 major tournaments with an average placement of five. The absolute highest we have seen so far on this list, he is beyond consistent and he has taken home so many first places in European skirmishes. I haven't seen the same wow plays coming out from Mitro that we have from other players on this list, but he is just so damn consistent and he performs in the major events, and that's what matters at the end of the day, and that is why we're putting him so high at number three. Moving on now to number two, we have the second ghost gaming player on this list, Bizzle, with a total of $477,000 earned in 12 tournaments with an average play placement of 4.6, even better than Mitro. Bizzle is just nuts. This guy performs every single tournament he ever plays in, and because he won the secret skirmish, finally securing a first place, we are putting him at number two. If he didn't get first place in the most recent secret skirmish, he would probably be at number three or number four, but finally getting that big first place does prove that he shows up when it matters. Just overall, Bizzle is so damn good, and that is why he's at number two. Moving on now to the number one player, right now, in my opinion, we have Tifu from FaZe Clan. A lot of you guys probably expected this, and it's because he is incredible. The guy has the wow factor, he has the clutch factor, and he is most definitely very consistent. Tifu has earned a total of $494,000 while playing in 11 major tournaments with an average placement of 7.4. It's honestly incredible what he's been able to accomplish. Not only is he the best player in the world, he is also the most popular Fortnite player right now. And heading into the World Cup, if I had to bet on somebody to win it all, it would be Tifu. Anyways, guys, that is going to be my top 10 list. Of course, if you did enjoy this video, do me a favor, slap that like on it, and also subscribe to my channel for more content. I upload videos about professional Fortnite news and drama every single day. I do feel like this list is really good. Of course, though, I know a lot of you guys might disagree, so be sure to leave your opinion down below, and let's keep it fun and clean. No need to get really mad at each other and take it overboard. That is going to be it though guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I love you all. I'm out of here. Peace.